Felix, Tommy, um, we're talking 75 years of Puma. Incredible, we've made it, we've been very much part of the team, but what does that mean to you as individuals? Felix, can I start with you first, 75 years? Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine, like I'm 20, 28 years now and a company with such a big history, like um, standing for so much for the last 75 years is yeah, incredible for me and I can't imagine a long journey. Tell me, you, 75 years in this brand and you certainly one of the, the standout family members. So what does 75 years mean to you? It's momentous, grandly momentous. And the pressures that uh, we've all been under and the pressures that the, uh, the, our company has been under is magnified into an explosion of greatness with, the, 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 with equity and one of the big concerns. So I'm just happy to be a part of the huge family. Not quite as old as I am, but <laughs> it's an old family, yeah. When you think about things, when you're sitting next to somebody like Tommy and you see the iconic moments that he's achieved, and his recognition is really global in that sense. How do you feel? Well, I think it um, shows like true leadership in that moment to have the courage to stand up and to show um, the whole world what he's standing for and not like just following a path. So standing for something which is so powerful yeah. and um, I'm, I'm impressed like how, how he did it and especially like all the consequences he, he had to handle in in his life following of this decision. Interesting enough, there are lots of things that needed to go right to start your whole process of getting a rush. You had to win, first of all, right, to get there. Then there was always opportunity after you, your victory to back down with your statement. As you're walking towards the rostrum, at any moment you could have said, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to be brave enough to do this. But you chose not to. Why? There was a need for me too, because it was inside me that had to be seen. And there was no other way for it to be seen other than a prayer of hope, a belief of justice in a country that didn't have that belief, I don't think. Felix, how do you feel generally about the way that your exposure is, is really now becoming more level, it's becoming more equal. You're, you're being part of a family here with Puma, of course, but also in, in the media's eyes, they recognize your performances. It's so complicated to say because like, we don't need more Paralympic athletes because we don't need more people with a disability, but I think we need people to inspire and to inspire other people when they have a challenge in their life, when they have something that is probably not going as planned, that, um, we can be people where they can see that you can still believe in yourself and you can like follow your dream and achieve something which is great and I think um, we put in the same amount of time, the same amount of work um, into our sport and yeah I'm, I'm very happy to be the first Paralympic member of the Puma family, it's a big honour for me and um, I think it is a great sign that Puma showed Absolutely, it's true. I'm going to throw a word out to you and uh, tell me what you, you think of this particular word, right? Icon, right? And I see both of you smart. <laughs> Do you consider yourselves an icon? It's, it's a responsibility. Uh, it's, it's, it's a gift, a gift that you have to apply uh, to make it solid for others to take hold to. Uh, and it's a, it's a pride uh, that you must do because the judgment will be on you if you don't try what you were given to give out. I don't see myself as an icon because I think I just want to show the normal way of dealing with, let's say, from for my, for my perspective with a disability, which is nothing which I should be treated different or which I should be treated special. So. I know I've, I'm different and I have only one leg and I probably have to do different things, but it's, it should be as normal as anything else. And like Colin probably didn't ask you, did you put on your shoes this morning? Because it's normal, you just put on your shoes. And the same way I just put on my prosthetic leg. You know, I think when I look back and I reflect on it all, I've seen the changes. Yeah, and I've seen what everybody's put time and effort. And one thing I really appreciated, if people are given a chance to shine, then they will do so. And I think where we're all lucky is that Puma has given us all the opportunity to shine. Whether having 
the right people in the family supporting us, giving us the right equipment to do our thing. I think we've been blessed. Yeah, gosh, yes. Felix, what's the best bit of advice that has been given to you? I think it's believe in yourself and no matter how hard the situation is, no matter how you feel, like you can always take the next step and probably have another chance, but you always have to be in the moment. I think that is what we what we all have common as sprinters, you know, you have that one moment where you have to be and you have to be present. Felix, you're wearing one of the t-shirts of the, of, of the new collection there. So can you explain the name of the collection and a little bit about it? Yeah, this is um, the t-shirt I'm wearing. It's of the Icons of Unity collection, um, which is brand new right now. And I think uh, it stands for diversity. It stands for inclusion. It also has a really, really cool print on the back. I probably yeah, can show it. Yeah. 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 And. I think it's a great message which you can um, wear in your daily life to yeah. just bring more diversity in our society. Yeah, absolutely. Olympics or Paralympics, of course, it happens next year as well in Paris. Um, what's your thoughts on that? How is your preparation going to go for that? Where do you think you're going to fit in? Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to have Paralympic Games back in, back in Europe. And yeah, I even had a great conversation uh, with you saying what well, he told me, Felix, now you have to work even harder than you ever did before. <laughs> and I really take it to my heart and um, yeah, look forward to start preparation. Yeah. It's a, a cheeky question I'm going to ask both of you now, all right? You can only give me one word to answer, all right? <laughs> Do you ever feel sorry for the person who feels second behind you? Uh, one word. I don't. Oh, uh... <laughs> No! <laughs> no, you may. <laughs> Just like, second, for, I don't feel sorry. Okay, that's my nope, nope. feelings for you? No, not at all, I think. <laughs> it's part of being a competitor. That, I feel, was the right answer. Correct in, in that sense. Tommy, yeah. Felix, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for chatting today. Thank enjoy, you. Enjoy talking to you. Listen me to too, young folks. Too. It's my thing. <laughs> Getting all the experience. Yeah. <laughs>